Praise the Lord. This is Reverend Essie, and I'm coming at you on July 24th, 2010, Saturday. It is very, very hot here in Pennsylvania, where I'm from. And I hope that everybody is comfortable. I hope you're staying out of the heat. God is good. Amen. I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about Zacchaeus. Um, in Luke chapter 19, turn your swords to Luke chapter 19. I hope that you've been blessed and I hope that you've been staying in contact with the Lord, having communication with Him, praying to Him. Pray always. The Bible says never cease to pray. So pray to God always. Talk to Him. Meditate. Amen. Meditate on God. And I'll start with uh, Luke 19, chapter 1. And it says, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. When they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, this day is salvation come to this house for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. And he went on about the parable of the pounds. What does this tell us that we just read? First of all, it tells you that there is a perfect elevation in your life, regardless of how low on the totem pole you may be, whether you're small in physical stature, whether you're small in emotional or spiritual stature, you might not have a PhD. You might not lead a big church. You might not have any followers. You may not be the kind of person that people like. But Jesus likes you. Jesus loves you. In fact, Jesus will pick you out of the masses when he sees that you've done everything that you can to see about him to choose him, to peek and peer on him, to watch him. You've heard so much about Jesus and you want to get to know him. You just want to see him with your eyes. You just want to lay your eyes on this man that you've heard about, this God that's walking in a physical body and still does. He walks with us, in us, the Holy Spirit of God. The three-in-one God. The triune God. And when God sees the effort that you put toward getting to know Him, He will bless you. He will bless everything that you lay your hands to do. Now, Zacchaeus was small. You can only imagine what he went through. The people that teased him because of his stature. You know, we always seem to find something to tease somebody about. Ask me how I know. You know, but the person that you tease is just as important as you are. Who are we to talk about one another? And see, all these people were, were thronged around Jesus to see him. And Zacchaeus climbed up into the sycamore tree because he heard Jesus was supposed to pass that way. Which means he was on a lookout. He was a watchman. 
And the watchman need not be ashamed. The watchman was not asleep. And Jesus looked up and saw him. Can you imagine Jesus looking up to anyone? Amen. We all should look up to him. And he told him to hurry up and come down out of that tree. That was Zacchaeus' divine call. Zacchaeus got a call from Jesus. And he answered him. It says, when, and when he came down in verse 6, Luke 19, 6, it says, And when he came down, he received him joyfully. Jesus received Zacchaeus joyfully. And Zacchaeus received Jesus joyfully. Received the call of God joyfully. Not being ashamed because of what you are, what God wants you to be. Don't ever be ashamed of the gospel. Don't ever be ashamed of God's word. If people make fun of you, so be it. Who are they? Consider the source. You know, uh, the ones that make fun of you, you got to see whether or not they're going to burn, you know, or, or go to heaven. Amen. And when people saw Jesus and Zacchaeus hugging one another, but when Jesus, when people saw Jesus and you having a close relationship, a koinonia relationship, communion with one another, when people see you praying, when people see you talking to Jesus, amen, when people see you living a holy life for Jesus, they're going to murmur. The Bible says they, and when they saw it, they all murmured and they said that he was going to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. They call, They called... Zacchaeus a sinner who can judge but God how can I say you're a sinner how could you say I'm a sinner the only one knows is God God's the one with the rule book God is the one with the rule book amen they called him a sinner they labeled him that's called, they, a bigotry they, they were bigots they were fault finders Amen. And in your life, you will have bigots and you will have fault finders. You will have people who are going to almost seemingly obsessively try to find something wrong with you. Uh, they're going to do it. The devil's going to send his people. It's whether or not you believe it. It's whether or not you listen to them. Amen. And Zacchaeus transformed he, he got forgiveness. He gave restitution and said, half of what I have, half of my goods, I'd give to the poor. And if I owe anybody by false, you know, if he said, if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, salvation has come to your house. For as much as you are a son of Abraham, Jesus called him, you're a son of Abraham, the father of all nations. And Jesus explained his relationship down here, his mission. He said, for the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Notice he said, was lost. In other words, Jesus is saying, Zacchaeus, because you found an interest in me, you are no longer lost. I got you. I got your back. And this is what God is telling you today. Even though sometimes it might look like you might be going through something, but God is saying to you, I got your back. Thank him. Reverend Essie signing out. God bless you and have a good day.